Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Monday the 5th of August 2024. And Venus enters Virgo. Oh, nice. I think that's quite nice, actually. Nine of Pentacles energy. Oh, and of course, Mercury goes metrograde. Dun, dun, dun. But I think we've already had a bit of a foreshadowing of that, haven't we, people? Okay. Moon goes into Virgo. When does it do that? I haven't got my, I've not got my reading glasses with me. Never mind. We're just going to have to busk it. Um, moon goes into Virgo. Blah, 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 22nd. Oh God. 22.16. So late in the evening. So we're really, we're still basking, I think, in a Leo new moon energy. Very nice. Let me know if you're feeling perky, sparky, liony. Or leo -y. So I've got another one of these fun zodiac sign things, okay? How nice are the zodiac signs? So I think, for one, these are not the opinions of the speaker, I'll just say. And two, I think it's probably a bit tongue-in-cheek. Aries, I'm not nice. Taurus, kind, not nice. There's a difference. Gemini is a mirror. I reflect what I'm given. Cancer is either really nice or not at all. That's interesting. Leo is nice until someone tries me. Virgo, I used to be. Libra can be too nice, but working on it. Scorpio, my niceness has to be earned. Sagittarius, Nice, got me run over. I don't really get that one, to be honest. Capricorn, it depends on the circumstances. Aquarius, I'm a good person. I'm not nice. Pisces, is genuinely nice. I get to blow smoke up my own backside with that one being a Pisces. What do you reckon to that? It's interesting, isn't it? Of course, the word nice itself is not always completely agreed upon by people. So there's that. Now, in the street, nothing much happening. It's summer. Somebody did take a window out, though. That was really exciting. Just down the road, each year. Somebody, well, a builder person, had removed a window. And you just get, like, like brick spaces. Not like in a horrible, like, pulled it out and there's all a mess. But like a perfect sort of if you remember it's not stickle bricks those kind of those foam bricks that you get that have like edges on like a jigsaw piece it was like a jigsaw piece um i don't know if they've refilled it now with something one, one would hope so as the actress said to the bishop right okay i'm using the glittery cards today oh the hotel um someone has arrived but I don't know when, must have been like late last night or something, and the curtains are fully drawn in the downstairs bedroom. Make of it what you will, not a stitch of clothing on the wardrobe rail thing. Not a stitch. Who knows? Okay, let's have some cards. Oh God. So I'm using, what am I using? Uh, Tarot Collectibles, the Rider Weight Stars Edition. I'm going to go for the bottom. Gosh, I don't know about this. I'm going for the bottom again. Okay, oof. It's the best that Mercury has to offer, I feel. We start with the Five of Cups. This is a melancholic card and the beginning of Mercury retrograde season is often melancholic because you do look back and sometimes you don't like what you see, sometimes you don't know what you see and sometimes you just, sometimes you sort of do but it's like with a sweet that's behind me now, you know, kind of thing. Oh, we have a helicopter somewhere Ooh. I know it's one of those tiny weeny planes like with three people in 
exciting times. Okay, so we have this melancholy, sweet five of cups type thing. That sort, sort of sets the kind of scene, but we also have at the other end, the six of cups, which is major Mercury retrograde vibes. So it's the childhood sweetheart. It's the card of longing, of yesteryear, of the music's never been as good since then, or I miss you, or hometown, you know, that whole bit. It's a funny energy. It's like a sort of looking back karma energy thing. It's quite sweet because it's a six as well. Hmm. <laughs> she says, hmm. We then have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. Do these glitter, by the way? No, I can't quite get them to work because there's no sun in the sky at the moment. They're spectacular when they do. Well, you can see a bit on the rainbow. Anyway. Knight of Pentacles is plodding into the Three of Swords. You can see it a bit on that one, can't you? Three of Swords is absolute Mercury up to some trickery. I feel, I think Mercury's retrograde in Virgo and then it moves into Leo about in about two and a half weeks or something like that. May even be less than that. Might even be around the mid-month. And it just feels as if, it feels as if there's old scores to settle. And I don't mean that in a sort of um, have it out kind of a way. By the way, the cleaner's just going in now. Will they be in bed when the cleaner goes in? We'll see. If, if people with hair like that come out in a minute and try and get into a car, we're going to know. Yes, she, she doesn't suffer fools gladly. Anyway, Knight of Pentacles plodding into the Three of Swords. We're looking back. It could be old hurts. It could be old scores to settle. It's a sort of recalibration of the past. And then we have the Seven of Wands, which is very much sticking up for yourself, knowing your bottom line. What you could be doing here is sort of scraping the past. You know, like when people do ooh, a data scrape and they have to go through and take a load of stuff and put it onto whatever the newest technology is. It feels like you're doing that, but at the same time, you might need to keep sort of safety bumpers up in your head and heart so that you don't beat yourself up over it, is what I get. Then we have the Eight of Cups. So we've got the Five of Cups, we've got the Six of Cups, we've got the Eight of Cups. It's a lot of cups. It's a lot of cups situation. Eight of Cups, you may have walked away from something. You may want to walk away from something. It may be about endings of some kind. And then the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is overwhelm. It's, it's reaching a point of no return. You know, some of you may be thinking, why did I behave like that? Or why did I do that? Or why did I let that happen for so long? And the answer is, you know, you're never really going to know because you're not going to be the same person that you were back then when that was going on, for whatever reason. You did the best you could with what you had, or you did the worst you could with what you had. You know, who's to say? And, and if you did the worst, you probably won't do that again. Three of Swords. We all make mistakes being humans and everything. Apparently, it's how we grow. I've always thought that was a really flawed system, actually. Like a really flawed system. But yeah, I don't think I make the rules. By the way, one of you, definitely let me know who you were, told me, oh, I used to watch when you did the Adrian Tarot back in the day. I found it. I know. So we will be cracking that bad boy at some point. I don't know how I'm going to get around it with the whole YouTube thing. I might have to sort of cover some up with my hand. But we're getting the Adrian Tarot out again. Oh, yes, we are. So thank you for reminding me of that. Brilliant. And then we have as our Oracle card of the day, by the book. I'm guessing with this, not so much by the book, but about elephants. 
So elephants, and I'm not very like good at wildlife, as you know, but elephants have a homing instinct, don't they? Like they, they travel great in tribes and they go around the place and then they remember like where an elephant died or they remember where they were. I suppose they call it the um, memory of an elephant, don't they? I feel like it's that. You're just retracing your steps. In fact, the less you judge them, the better. Okay? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the zodiac signs and the nice thing. And I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.